Hello there guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sal speaking and today, guess what? We're gonna be cooking again. That's so exciting. We're gonna cook pasta. Pasta is a great meal, everybody loves pasta. Especially here in Italy, it's just a big deal. Pasta is everything. So, we're gonna be cooking a pasta alla boscaiola. It's gonna be great. There are gonna be some good things that you're gonna see. It's gonna be exciting and very tasty. So if you're inviting friends over for dinner, this is a great meal to serve. So stay with me and check this out. First thing first, remember when you're cooking pasta, you need to take the pan and put water in it. You need to bring it to boil. This is... It's not a bad idea to put some warm water in. This way we'll be boiling faster than usual, you know. So for this recipe you need to have, of course, extra virgin olive oil. So this is a very important ingredient. And then we're gonna put like some... We bought this stuff here, which it contains basically uh, onions, parsley and carrots. So we will be using this one. Is it, it is also cut into cubes so it's going to be perfect for this recipe. Okay, so put a little bit of olive oil in a little pan. Then onions, parsley and carrots cut into cubes. This is perfect to do a sauté. and uh, let it cook for a little bit and then you need to add the meat so yeah mix it up for this recipe we are gonna be using mince mince meat or hamburger meat So you can see, you know, at the same time as the, you know, saute is getting ready, the, the water is almost ready to boil. We actually, we turned it a little bit down because we're going to take a little bit of time to create the ragu first, so there's no reason to, to have this on at the moment, but it is a good idea to put it on anyways, because in this way you don't have to wait for the, for the water to boil in order to put the pasta in, so it's a good idea actually. Now we're gonna be adding the meat, the hamburger meat. Okay, make sure that you cut it into pieces, you know, and just mix it together with the rest of things. Yeah, what a great recipe this one. Your friends are gonna be amazed. I chose it on purpose to you know make it last because I wanna show you how we make the real recipe. So the process is long, it's taking time. I'm not one of those guys who makes a cooking video and then tells you, yeah, in 10 minutes everything is gonna be ready. No, forget about it. But you know, I'm gonna show you step by step every process and you're gonna enjoy it. See the mince or the hamburger meat has a gray color, so basically it's cooked. Now we need to add a little bit of uh, tomato sauce and we're gonna make the ragu. Okay, now we are ready to go. We're adding the peeled tomato, so we're gonna use two ingredients. We're gonna add peeled tomato and also we're gonna be adding tomato sauce. Bravissimo. 
So believe it or not, peeled tomato is gonna give sweetness to this plate. It's gonna really give a lot of good taste to this amazing recipe. And of course, we're gonna be adding a little bit of, it's called datterino tomato sauce. So it is a specific type of tomato. And we're gonna be adding this tomato and this peeled tomato together. They're gonna be great. What a great combination, guys. I really, I highly suggest you to make this recipe with these ingredients if you may find it because this is gonna be fantastic it's gonna make a big difference and your friends are gonna be amazed awesome. yeah. so we're gonna be adding the tomato sauce this is a great tomato sauce and uh, we're gonna mix it together it's gonna be fantastic Here we go, we're mixing the tomato, the peeled tomato with the mince together, and we're gonna make a ragu. So from the time you put this on, I mean, when, from the time you add the sauce, you need to let it cook for around about half an hour, from 20 minutes to half an hour, roughly. So it's gonna be taking time. In the meanwhile, we'll be preparing the mushrooms because in this recipe we're gonna be adding mushrooms. So stay tuned. So we're gonna be adding a little bit of spices, black pepper. We're gonna be adding a little bit of curry here, a little bit of English curry. Just to give it a little bit of color, but a little bit of aroma, a little bit of taste. Stir it up every now and then, just make sure you're not burning your ragu you know you cannot burn it actually we call it ragu we call it ragu but we call it ragu with an accent on top of the final u so ragu that's the right way to pronounce it so now we're gonna be starting making the mushrooms cooking the mushrooms so we're gonna be adding a little bit of olive oil because olive oil is so important for an Italian. Without olive oil, you cannot do anything. So, put on the brush. The brush is good, lah, Okay, make sure that you don't burn yourself as you cook. Don't forget to stir up the uh, ragu. So we're adding the mushrooms, so we'll be starting cooking the mushrooms too. We're gonna be adding a little bit of salt, a pinch of salt or so, feel free. You may add salt later if you like, but I would suggest you to, you know, put salt now, add the salt now. I would suggest you to add the salt now, right now. So three things at the same time. This is important that you learn how to do three things at the same time. If the olive oil is missing, make sure to add a little bit of olive oil. It's not a, a bad deal if you add it even later, it's not a problem. <coughs> Stir up your ragu so that it won't burn. Make sure you turn up your mushrooms, don't burn them. Some people cook mushrooms with, uh, instead of olive oil, they put butter in it. It's up to you if you wanna use butter, just feel free to do that. 
Uh, it's up to you, really. But I am a olive oil lover. I am an olive oil lover, so so add a little bit of um, black pepper. <clears throat> and add the spices you like to make it, you know, good for your taste. Because that's important to make things good for your taste. But if you trust me enough, this is gonna be fantastic. This is gonna be great. We are getting there. So our mushrooms are almost ready. So we're gonna put the mushrooms together with the ragu. And then we're gonna be adding a little bit of bechamel sauce. The bechamel sauce is gonna give a little bit of great taste to this recipe. It's gonna be fantastic. You're gonna love it. When you're cooking your mushrooms, you might want to add a little bit of extra water just to let it cook and not burn because we don't want them to be burned in any way. I mean, pay attention to the ragu as well. We turn the fire off for a little bit just to let it rest a little bit and then we're gonna mix it together. And we're gonna add, as I said before, bechamel sauce. So this is a very delicate experiment. You're gonna put the mushrooms with the ragu together. Fantastic. We're gonna be very tasty. We're gonna mix it together and then we're gonna be adding the uh, bechamel sauce. It's gonna make a huge difference to this recipe. So mix it up, mix it up, and you will see heaven in a few minutes. At least. So the time has come, we're gonna be adding our pasta, finally. Woohoo, Italian pasta. This pasta is called Bombardoni Rigati number 128, numero 128. Wow, this is a... Only in Italy, is, look at this type of pasta, it's just fantastic, huge, looks like a huge penne, you know. This is gonna cook for probably 10 minutes, and then we're gonna put it all together, it's gonna be fantastic. Man, you're gonna see me eating this amazing meal, look at this. Can you smell it? Mmm. The time has come, the pasta is ready, ready to go. Bili forti! Abbassa un fuoco! Ti giuro, eh! So! Abbassa il perfetto! So we're gonna mix the pasta and... Ok, the pasta and the ragu together! It's gonna be fantastic! We chose this big pan because, I mean, it's a lot of food, so... There was not a better way to do this than this way. Beh sì, non è facile da tenere sicuramente. Vabbè. Però è più comodo che con l'altro veniva male. Anche tu non lo bechamel, eh? Ok. We're gonna be adding the bechamel sauce now. <laughs> Woohoo! Bechamel sauce. I used to get Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got So we're gonna be mixing the pasta now with the bechamel sauce. It's gonna be a really great meal. And this is ready, basically. Right. Okay, our pasta is ready. Well guys, this pasta is just fantastic, very big. Mmm. 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 So good. You can't eat this without 
Mm. Fantastic. I really love it. Mm. And the mushroom. Mmm. Thank you so much for watching and remember, if you feel sad, you better call sad. Bye bye.